Good afternoon, and welcome to the University of Alaska Sitka Campus Commencement Ceremony. My name is Dr. Paul Kraft, and I am the Campus Director for the Sitka Campus. This is a time of conflicting emotions for us at the University, as commencement is our favorite time of the year. It's our favorite event of the year. It's a chance for us as administrators, faculty, and staff to celebrate your accomplishments and often meet your family and friends who supported you along the way and send you on your way with hopefully some cake and some punch. But instead, we are recording speeches and sending you packets in the mail, and you are watching this event on your phone, your laptop, or your computer. Our hope is that you can still find a way to celebrate your accomplishments and that you are able to share this experience with your friends and family. However you are experiencing this, we want you to know that we are proud of you and what you have accomplished. Welcome. On this day of achievement for our students, we would like to start by recognizing that we are on Klinket Ani. Ani is the Klinket word for land and Klinket people have been in this place for over 10,000 years. It's very important to recognize this historical fact and to appreciate that the Klingit people have been excellent stewards and have lived out the traditional values around balance, respect, and caring for the earth that sustains us all. So for taking wonderful care of this special place, for time immemorial, we say thank you and gunalchish. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Stars of gold on a field of blue, Alaska's flag, may it mean to you the blue of the sea, the evening sky, the mountain lakes and the flowers nearby, the gold of the early sourdough dreams, the precious gold in the hills and streams, the brilliant stars in the northern sky, the bear, the dipper, and shining high, the great north star with its steady light, or land and sea, a beacon bright. Alaska's flag to Alaska's dear, the simple flag of the last frontier. To start us off, I would like to introduce to you the Chancellor of the University of Alaska Southeast, Dr. Karen Carey. Today, we celebrate the accomplishments of graduates from the University of Alaska Southeast. 
This weekend, we have also honored graduates at our UAS campuses in Ketchikan and in Sitka. This is truly a time of celebration. Last year, when COVID first hit us, I thought, well, we'll be back to school in no time. I think a lot of us thought we'd get back to normal very quickly and that life would continue on as before. Little did any of us know that COVID would still be with us more than a year later. Some people decided to work on jigsaw puzzles, learn to cook, or watch hours and hours of Netflix during the pandemic. But not you. What you have done is truly awe-inspiring. Even the, in the midst of a pandemic, you persevered, demonstrated your strength and your resilience. You are special, and to me, you are awesome. Years from now, people will ask you where you were during the 2021 pandemic, and you can tell them your own personal story of how you completed your education. Life is tough sometimes, but you have shown that you have the capacity to face life head on and reach for and attain your goals. Remember when life presents other obstacles, you are special and you are very, very strong. I know you will succeed in life, whether you are getting a job, going on to graduate school, or continuing to focus on your family. You have shown us that you are non-stoppable. You will attain your goals because you are special and you will succeed. I know that you have had support from family and friends. Be sure to thank them for their support. If you have children, take a moment to thank them and spend a few extra minutes with them because they too are resilient. The University of Alaska Southeast is your school and your home. We will always be here for you. We will always cherish what you have accomplished and we will never forget you. You are special and you are UAS. Good luck to you. Come visit us after the pandemic. If you completed your degree online, I would love to give you a personal tour of our campuses when we can. Stay safe. Stay strong, and always remember that you are special. Thank you, Chancellor Kerry. Now, President Pat Pitney has some words for our graduates. President Pitney? Congratulations, University of Alaska Southeast graduates. Today, you, the members of the class of 2021, join the ranks of more than 100,000 University of Alaska System alumni. The journey you began when you started at UAS will continue long after this graduation ceremony. This journey is one that the university has prepared you to take, one that will contribute to our state's economy and the communities each of you call home. Your journey will require you to overcome more adversities and challenges. You are no stranger to challenges. This past year, has been a significant one for all of us. Graduation is a milestone we're celebrating in any year. And even more important to, to celebrate it, given the challenges and unique experience we've shared this past year. I commend you for completing your degree at a time when the world and the university underwent unprecedented change. You have proven that you are determined resilient, and adaptable. And this will serve you well in the years to come. The late poet Maya Angelou said, you may encounter many defeats, but you must not be defeated. Defeat, she says, allows you to know who you are, where you can rise from, and how you can still succeed. Have confidence, use your strengths, do not be deterred. The university is key to our state's economic recovery and its long-term future. You will become part of our economic foundation. As a graduate of the University of Alaska Southeast, you are positioned well to succeed. For those of you starting your career as a teacher, biologist, manager, or any other occupation, I know that you will help build our, a stronger Alaska. 
For those of you whose next step will be to continue towards an advanced degree, I know you've built a great foundation in your time here at University of Alaska Southeast. Whatever, your, whatever path you choose, walk it with great personal strength. Whatever you choose to do, do it well and with passion. My parting advice to you today is to remain curious, continue to expand your knowledge and find ways throughout your career to give back to your community. I hope you will continue to make your home here in Alaska. Every chance you get, I hope you will encourage others to follow your path in becoming a University of Alaska Southeast graduate. And Alaska needs leaders. Our future is in your hands. I'll leave you today with the words of Nelson Mandela, who said, it always seems impossible until it's done. Well, you've done it. Congratulations again on your, your degree. And whatever your next steps, remember your experiences here at University of Alaska Southeast that made it all possible. Have fun in your future. It is now my pleasure to introduce Pauline Duncan, who will be receiving a University of Alaska Honorary Doctorate in Education tonight. Pauline is eagle bearer and belongs to the Valley House of Angoon. She is a greatly respected teacher and culture bearer. Ms. Duncan is an accomplished classroom teacher and her experience includes over 30 years of work with students at pre-kindergarten, elementary, and high school levels. She retired from the Sitka School District in 2005. Crystal Duncan, Pauline's daughter, recalls that culturally relevant materials for young children did not exist in the mid-90s, so her mom set about creating them. Ms. Duncan's goal was to create cultural toolkits, place-based cultural learning units based on multimodal learning tools. She worked with other cultural bearers to create Keeping Our Grandfather's Words, an extensive poster and book series for elementary school teachers. These materials were developed around the Alaska Cultural Standards, which provides an impetus for bringing culturally relevant materials into the classroom. Ms. Duncan was one of the first Alaskans to develop materials to support this standard. She was invited into schools throughout Southeast Alaska to conduct teacher in-service trainings on the material. Ms. Duncan combined her expertise as a lifelong educator and her rich foundation in Clinkett culture to develop a children's book series, Raven Stories, which she was recognized as a National Library of Congress Literary Awards Best Practice Honoree in 2017. Ms. Duncan's commencement speech begins with showing her work with elementary school students as, she, as we see fourth and fifth grade students from Angoon Elementary School recite the Pledge of Allegiance in both English and Clinkett. Her speech concludes with a reading of her book, Raven Brings Us Fire, reminding graduates to bring new knowledge and skills to their communities, just as Raven did with fire. It is my pleasure to present to you Pauline Duncan on behalf of the administration, faculty, and staff of the University of Alaska Southeast. We come united this evening to honor and recognize graduates. Tonight marks a new beginning for graduates and their families. I will attempt to share with you the precious gift of the raven's tail robe. The first step in starting a robe is to go out and bring in a mountain goat. A mountain goat can walk ridges that man might not walk. 
A mountain goat has to always maintain balance to stay up on a ridge. Five or more years ago, you had a vision when you decided to enter college. You met challenges. Time management became a part of your day. You had to complete assignments, write papers, attend classes, make money, spend time with family and friends. Today you can look back on the ridges you had to walk to maintain your balance. The mountain goat offers mankind lessons of survival, patience, honor, and respect. A graduate who learned lessons of survival, patience, honor, and respect will be ready to enter the outside world with a better understanding and appreciation of self and others. The weaver must be patient. You learned as a student to have patience. You learned to calculate and balance your time to sort out notes, write papers, and prepare for tests. The weaver learned to begin a robe one has to patiently take off guard hairs, clean and spin the wool. Carefully preparing the material guarantees the weaver that once the robe is spun and woven, the robe could last a lifetime. Today, if an individual is considering college, one must make many sacrifices. The high cost of college, personal loans, the extra two jobs you had to work to barely keep afloat. The weavers face similar obstacles in a different way. The number of weavers and traditional values began to decline. The raven's tail was in danger of being lost forever. The weavers were determined to make sacrifices and to restore this precious art form. Today I recognize Dolores Churchill, Cheryl Samuels, Ernestine Hamlin, Jan Criswell, and Terry Rothgar. Their strong commitment to weaving is evident today. The robe and basketry are making a strong comeback. The primary colors used on a robe are yellow, blue, black, and white. The colors represent yellow, life, and the sun. Blue, the sky and water. Black, raven, our trickster. White, the mountain goat. Graduating tonight is easy compared to the last years. An observer would look and think, how nice and wonderful. No one but you realized all the obstacles you faced to be here tonight. When most people see a raven's tail robe, they are immediately attracted to it as an object of beauty and cultural significance. The textured designs are compelling to see. While appreciating the completed robe, most people have little understanding of the many painstaking hours it took to complete the robe. The weavers start out with a vision of what the robe will look like and what it will represent. In order to execute this vision, the weaver must think like a mathematician to create the robe and the intricate patterns. To look at a robe, one might think how pretty, beautiful, fun. The hours of work a weaver put in will never be told. The hours that you spent to earn your degree will never be told. You calculated your time and energy so there would be no waste. As you graduate tonight, few people realize the sacrifices that you overcame to reach this point. Your vision of a better life for yourself and your family was just the beginning. Like the weaver, the many hours of work to reach this accomplishment are not visible, but needs to be acknowledged. The final touch to the robe is to go out and bring in a sea otter. The sea otter adds warmth and beauty. Your final step is to march up here tonight and walk away with your degree. The beauty and warmth 
you bring to your entire family, faculty, and friends cannot be measured tonight. Before I conclude my story tonight, I would like to leave with you a little gift bag, a crayon to remind you learning happens in many different colors, a ruler to remind you there are always rules to follow, Hershey Kisses to remind you that you are loved, a pencil to remind you there are many things to learn, a marker to remind you to leave a good mark wherever you go, a penny to remind you to always use good sense, an eraser to remind you that it's all right to make mistakes, a bouncing ball to remind you that when you come up against an obstacle, bounce back up and try again. Cracker sandwiches to remind you that it's not always the outside that counts, but what's inside. A removable tattoo to remind you that sometimes removing hang-ups and set ways can help you to grow. Bubble gum to remind you to blow lots of bubbles and be happy. When a child or an adult has low self-esteem, it can be difficult to be proud. I am a small example of pride and self-esteem. I find it hard to believe that I can stand before an esteemed group of educators and share my thoughts. I humbly thank you for inviting me to speak tonight. As a graduate, you are a prized possession. You are precious, valuable, and unique. The raven's tail is a prized possession. It is valuable, precious, and unique. Thank you. Raven brings us fire. Once upon a time, there was no fire. Raven flew all around to inquire. Raven was told of an island in the sea, so far away that he could not see. Raven flew there and picked up an ember. Raven was a flyer who set out to bring fire. The island was so far away and Raven could not make it back in a day. The fire ember burned Raven's beak half off as he flew around high above. Raven let the coals drop at once, one, two, three, as he flew high above the sea. The coals fell down on the earth and sparks fell on stone and wood. Today, if you put stone and wood together, a fire will transpire. Raven was a flyer who brought us fire. For the past year, we have adapted and modified our lives to fit this new mold created by the effects of an ever-wavering and shape-shifting pandemic. The resiliency that people around the world have expressed in their commitment to survive and flourish is nothing but extraordinarily awe-inspiring, and those in the General Education Development Diploma Program were not an exception. With that being said, it is my pleasure to congratulate the individuals who have successfully obtained their General Education Development Diplomas. It requires a great amount of time, determination, effort, and discipline to achieve this final and significant step of earning a GED, which equates to the completion of one's entire secondary education. To achieve these academic credentials, even when the path to reach these goals is not always a smooth one, is an admirable and commendable accomplishment. We are confident that your GED will serve as a solid foundation and support for whatever you choose to pursue in the next chapter of your life, whether it be advancing workforce opportunities, pursuing post-secondary studies, or continuing ahead in life in another city, state, or country. As Mark Twain once said, the secret of getting ahead is getting started. Now that you have gotten ahead, let that encourage you as you get started on your next endeavor. Darren Mitchell. Vanessa De La Torre Hernandez. Landon McGraw.
Ariel Miller. Now we would like to recognize a number of individuals who have started their post-secondary education by earning an occupational endorsement. Students who have earned an occupational endorsement have obtained industry-specific knowledge and skill sets. Robbie Littlefield will assist in reading the heritage names provided by the students. Please join me as we celebrate our students' accomplishments. Christina Svick. Derek Swanson. Marisel Ka'alim. Ashley Kunrat. Abby Troop. Pamela Vesti. Emily Young. Lucas Crane. Kevin Connell. Jimmy Alford. David Bonke. Trevor Hardy. Dimitri Ney. Kirsten Nevak. Cameron Olson. Next, we would like to take a moment to recognize the graduates of the Fall 2020 and Spring 2021 classes of the Alaska Public Safety Academy who completed an occupational endorsement in law enforcement through the University of Alaska Southeast Sitka campus. Their achievements are celebrated in a separate ceremony hosted by the Department of Public Safety. Congratulations to those who completed their occupational endorsement in law enforcement. The university really supports what you're doing, and we're proud of our association with public safety training. Now it is our pleasure to present the certificate and degree candidates for the University of Alaska. The registrar has certified that they have fulfilled all academic requirements and the faculty of the University of Alaska Southeast recommends that these candidates receive their awards. Please note that cum laude means the graduate earned a 3.5 grade point average or higher, while magna cum laude indicates a GPA of 3.8 or higher. We will now call the names of the graduates. Shalina Bott. Ronald Minter.
Tegan McCarty. Desiree Rodriguez. Darla Baker O'Leary. Deanne Fritz. Jennifer McCoy. April McDougall. Kayla Phillips. Shay Simons. Alexis Yoder. Jasmine Martinez. Don McMaster. Kate Needens. Jade Nodes. Patricia Pulitow. Kinutla. Kinadi Nach City. David Carroll. Jenna Helminski. Lily Reichard. Deborah Lee Farmer. Jamie Bukat Cat Christiana Buner Juanita DeRose Carrie Silvers. Julie Trudeau. Maria Varela. Sarah Walters. Nicole Adams. Megan Dallas. Teslin Gallagher. Patrice Katzenberger. Rianne 
Shannon Norton Davis. Samantha Williman. John O. Kingwell. Brianna Valencore. Nicholas Pearson. Ava Parrish. Brianne Erickson. Robin Schlins. <laughs> Natasha Suarez. <laughs> Megan Christner. Chanel Carbillion. Carmel Haig. Carrie Gray. Erica Apathy. Kimberly Davis. Hello, graduates. By the virtue of the authority vested in me as chair of the Board of Regents under the Constitution of the State of Alaska, and upon the recommendation of the chancellors and faculty of the University of Alaska, I confer upon you the degrees to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, honors, and responsibility pertaining thereto. Congratulations on all your hard work you've done to get to this day of graduation. The University of Alaska uses the occasion of commencement to recognize outstanding service to the state of Alaska with the conferring of honorary doctorates. The principal criterion for individuals to receive an honorary degree from the University of Alaska is evidence of a significant and lasting contribution to the community and to the state of Alaska in the individual's discipline or profession. At this time, I would like to recognize our honorary doctorate recipient, Ms. Pauline Duncan. Pauline Duncan is greatly respected as a teacher and culture bearer. She created an invaluable legacy of teaching materials that merge Tlingit culture and language with Alaska educational standards. Ms. Duncan's achievements reflect her dedication to the exchange of cultural knowledge and her considerable talent and expertise in the field of elementary education. An accomplished classroom teacher, her experience spans over 30 years at all levels, from pre-kindergarten to high school. She retired from the Sitka School District in 2005. Before the mid-90s, cultural relevant materials for young children did not exist, and Pauline took it upon herself to create them. The result of this work is found in beautiful books and posters, which have become a cornerstone resource for schools meeting the Alaska cultural standards for students. They are widely used in our schools throughout Tlingit traditional homelands. Her book, Raven Stories, part of the Baby 
Raven Reads series was recognized as groundbreaking work by the National Library of Congress Literary Awards Best Practice as an Honoree, one of the 15 programs in the world to receive the honor in 2017. This series is a foundation for our community early childhood events that targets early childhood learning and literacy strategies. Miss Duncan's books encourage children to read, encourage parents to read to their children, and pass down traditional stories so that they might, may not be lost. Miss Duncan's books are carried in bookstores throughout Alaska and are very popular with our Alaska residents and our visitors. The importance of Miss Duncan's work is widely recognized. She has received many awards and honors, some of which I will list here. Alaska Bilingual Educator of the Year from the Alaska Association for Bilingual Education. Alaska Federations of Natives Presidents Award. Sitka Tribe of Alaska Citizen of the Year. And she was the first recipient of the Shi'atkin Corporation Charlie Joseph Cultural and Heritage Award. We honor Ms. Duncan for her vision, dedication, and her lasting impact. On behalf of the University of Alaska Regents, I am honored to present Pauline Duncan with the Honorary Doctorate of Education. Congratulations, Dr. Duncan. Hello, my name is Teresa Bell, and I am the HIM Program Director for the University of Alaska Southeast. I have the privilege to recognize a student of the Health Information Management Program as a graduate of distinction. This student is selected collectively by the program faculty for demonstrating active engagement, academic achievement, and a strong professional aptitude during his or her studies. This year's HIM Graduate of Distinction is Jamie Brianne Brucatcat. Bree has worked in the healthcare field since she was 18 years old. Her current position is the Revenue Cycle Director at Arctic Slope Native Association in Barrow. Bree completed her Bachelor's in Business Administration in the spring of 2017 through the University of Alaska Southeast. Bree also holds a Certified Revenue Cycle Representative through Healthcare Financial Management Association and a Certified Coding Associates through American Health Information Management Association, or AHIMA. In the spring of 2019, Bree enrolled in the Associates of Applied Science HIM program and completed it in the spring of 2021. While she was still in the program, Bree joined the Alaska Health Information Management Program in 2019 and is currently president elect and delegate of the board. Bree likes to spend her time cooking with her husband schooling her two children, and working in their indoor garden. I see Bree as an advocate for the HIM field and a great example of our association, the American Health Information Management Association, as a lifelong learner. It would not surprise me if she were president of that association someday. Congratulations, Bree, on receiving the HIM Student of Distinction Award and all that you have accomplished. The UAS Medical Assisting Program would like to recognize this year's Medical Assisting Student of Distinction, April McDougall. April was a leader not only in the classroom, but also thrived in her practicum environment and was well liked by her facility and patients. Congratulations, April. Greetings. My name is Joel Marcus and I'm a fisheries professor and the program director of the Fisheries Technology Program. Each year, we like to highlight a student that has gone above and beyond with respect to their academics and their progression in our degree programs. This year's Fisheries Technology Student of Distinction is David Carroll. David was a native of Louisiana before right out of high school joining the Marine Corps and serving in three deployments in Iraq. After leaving the Marine Corps, he used the training that he received to start a career in aviation that brought him to Juneau, Alaska. After spending a few years in Juneau, he decided to go back to school and pursue a degree in fisheries with the Fisheries Technology Program. After working a couple of summers as a tour operator in Juneau, uh, he, like many of us, was impacted by the coronavirus pandemic and was forced to take a more nautical approach to employment. 
In the 2020 commercial fishing season, David was a drift gillnet fisherman and uh, fished in the waters locally around Juneau. We are excited and encouraged to hear that this summer, David will be working as a fisheries technician with the Alaska Department of Fish and Game and has future plans to pursue a bachelor's degree in fisheries and ocean sciences. Within our program, we like to try and find a way to highlight our students or to identify them to their future fisheries cohorts. Um, and we like to do that uh, with something flashy, if you will. And so David, uh, in future times uh, in your fisheries career, we have developed this particular um, set of tassels for you to identify yourself as a fisheries technology student of distinction. Thank you, congratulations, and we are excited to see where your career will take you. Hello, I'm Dr. Math Trafton, Associate Professor of English at UAS Sitka. Each year, a student of distinction is selected among the Associate of Arts and Associate of Science graduates, and this year's recipient is Jade Nodes. Jade is graduating this year with her Associate of Arts degree, and she plans to continue her education at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, where she'll pursue her Bachelor's of Social Work. Now, having worked very closely with Jade, I can say that she's a great student and really a great person all around. She's a hard worker and she's full of such great positive energy. I just know that she has a very bright future ahead of her. So congratulations, Jade Nodes, 2021 AA Student of Distinction. Each year we ask a member of the faculty to give a faculty reflection to our graduates. This year, Joel Marcus, Associate Professor in the Fisheries Technology Program, was given this honor. Joel earned his Bachelor of Science in Biological Science from Montana State University in Bozeman, a Master of Science degree in Marine Biology from the University of Alaska Fairbanks, and is working on completing his doctorate in fisheries from UAF. In addition to being an excellent instructor in the classroom, Joel is a certified scuba diving instructor and a skilled skier. I'm looking forward to hearing Joel's remarks to our graduates. Greetings, graduates, families, faculty, staff, and Zoom bombers. My name is Joel Marcus and I'm a fisheries professor and the program director of the Fisheries Technology Program. And it is my honor to provide a faculty perspective to this graduating class of 2021. It has been one hell of a year and I think back on all that you, this class of 2021, have achieved and overcome, and the most descriptive word, and the only word in my mind, is deserving. There are other words that come to mind as well, resiliency, devotion, dedication, focused, and others that speak to the unique challenges and adversity that you have overcome. But overwhelmingly, when I think of this class, and when I think of this year, and all that has transpired, deserving. To say that you, the class of 2021, is special is an understatement. Many students work hard, they struggle, they sacrifice in the pursuit of higher education, but you, the class of 2021, have taken these statements and these struggles to another level. It was a little over a year ago that all of this disruption began, and many of us have not seen each other in person since before then. I would greatly like to be on campus right now feeling the excitement in the room, the anticipation, and the emotion that comes with such great achievement. Instead, I am here alone in a small dark studio recording this address. I, however, am optimistic, for my colleagues and I have seen the resolve of this student body, the devotion at which they have approached their learning and education, and their dedication to pushing forward. And for this, you are deserving. You are deserving of the degrees to be conferred here today, degrees for which you have spent your hard-earned money on, but that are now invaluable, an investment in your future and yourself, an investment that no one can take away, no government, no politician, no election, not even oppressive laws restricting access or racial disparity can take away the degrees you have earned for you have worked hard through these challenging times and shown your resolve and for that you are deserving. We have seen your work, seen the energy and effort that you have put forth over the semesters and years in pursuit of this achievement, and we are here today to recognize those efforts. 
Like no other class that has come before you, you have overcome. Not just the typical struggles, some of which are monumental on their own, full-time job, single parent, paying for college. But on top of all that, you've had to overcome additional challenges of a global pandemic. Transitioning to fully online courses, even fully online jobs, being forced to become an educator yourselves, shopping online, and toilet paper shortages. Let us not forget the toilet paper shortages. And through all of this, we have watched you continue to progress and achieve your goals, continue to attend courses and submit assignments, prepare for exams and write papers. And at the end of the day, you have overcome all of this. As a fisheries professor, I am obligated to include a fish analogy in this address. And the most fitting that comes to mind is naturally a fish swimming upstream. You, the class of 2021, are that fish. However, this is no ordinary stream. This is the Amazon River, and it is no ordinary stream flow, but it is that flood stage. And not just any flood, but a flood of biblical proportions. And you have managed to swim upstream and make your way to the spawning grounds, achieving your goal. And for this, you are deserving. Based on your resolve and the dedication that you have shown, we are encouraged. Encouraged that you will not let up, that you will not give in, and that you will continue to push and grow in all that you apply yourself to. And it is these traits, this resolve, devotion, and resiliency that will bring you success in the future, in whatever you apply yourself to. Whether you are to be a nurse, teacher, welder, banker, a farmer, or a fisher, we have seen your work and we are confident that you will be successful in your future pursuits. And for those future successes, you will be deserving. In closing, on behalf of the faculty, I would like to congratulate you and recognize the resiliency, devotion, dedication, and focus that you have shown in the pursuit of the degrees to be conferred here today. For above all, you are deserving. Congratulations, thank you, and gunashish. For the first time, we are asking one of our UAS staff to share a few words with our graduates. We have selected Randy Nutting for this honor. Randy serves in the capacity of Records and Registration Manager and is the longest serving staff member at the campus, finishing his 24th year at UAS Sitka. There is literally no student that has not been impacted by his work as he processes all of the registration paperwork for every student. Randy represents the many excellent staff employees that work behind the scenes to give students taking classes at the university a positive experience. Hello, graduating class 2021 UAS Sitka. To you I say congratulations to a job well done. After finding out I'd be speaking to you today, I began to reflect on this past year, the challenges it brought, and wow, what a year it has been to say the least. I can't imagine some of the obstacles that each of you may have endured to get here. Of course, there were the routine things our students encountered, things like, how am I gonna pay for textbooks? Or really, another form to fill out? Or maybe you had a few days of getting to an appointment, taking kids to and from a sports practice, along with studying that night for a final exam after everybody was in bed, all in a single day. Sometimes just throwing your hands up in the air at the end, yelling, I give up. These are the examples that make your accomplishment all the more significant, but wait, now throw a pandemic into the equation. All of a sudden, the quest for that occupational endorsement, associate, bachelor, or master's degree became a little more complicated. Those daily things on your plate grew substantially overnight. Now, your day may include helping your child with their math homework, all the while attending your lab class via Zoom, or figuring out how to get help with your upcoming exam now that your local student center or campus were closed to the public. No matter what the challenge was, the daily unknown was here and very, very real. Students, staff, and faculty alike went from working alongside each other on campus, having to figure out this thing called Zoom overnight. All of these challenges were met with some confusion, perhaps a little fear, and definitely some struggles. But again, here you are, you made it. You reached your goal, pushing through the unknown of an unprecedented time. Whether the degree you earned was just the beginning of your educational journey, or your final goal, or even some job training, your achievement means that much more because of what you've come through. 
As you look forward to tomorrow and beyond, pat yourself on the back, take a deep breath, and be proud of what you've accomplished. Hopefully, all of us here at UAS Sitka have made your journey as smooth as possible. Whether it was help with that pesky registration issue, guidance for your degree requirements, or maybe a faculty member that encouraged you to push through to the end, today we celebrate you and your accomplishments. Congratulations, Class of 2021. Each year, a student of distinction from the Associate of Arts and Associate of Science is selected. This year's recipient is Jade Node. Jade is graduating with an Associate of Arts degree with plans to continue her education at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, pursuing a Bachelor of Social Work. Every student has a story to tell, and it is my pleasure to introduce Jade Node as she shares some of her story with you, our graduates. Hi, my name is Jade Nodes. I'm the student speaker for the UAS SICA Campus 2021 graduating class. I first wanted to recognize that we are on Klinkit Ani land. Gunish Chish for allowing us the honor of attaining our educational goals alongside you. I wanted to talk about choice. Choice is one of the most powerful things as human beings we are given. Choice gives our lives meaning. I want to commend all of the other graduates today as your choices led you here. Choice is sometimes difficult and sometimes terrifying, but the choice you made to attain higher education brought you here today. And that is not easy and should not be taken lightly. I'm proud of each and every one of you, regardless of what you're graduating with today and what next steps you may have to take. Life is a journey of choices and paves the way to our futures. At the beginning of this journey, three years ago, I can tell you I was terrified with the choice to go back to school. I did not think that I would be here speaking to all of you. I was a single mother working two to three jobs, and I figured at this point, if I don't do it, I'm never going to do it. So I took that leap, and today I'm still a mother, but now I only have one amazing, fulfilling job, one that I can truly do what I want to do and help people. And now, even still, I'm a student, and I will continue to be a student, most likely, for some time. But I took that leap, and now that I know that I can do it, there's no turning back. Like I'm sure some of you are doing, I intend to continue my education. And although it is tough, I intend to keep going because it is worth it. It is worth it to take the leap into the unknown, and I hope that all of you continue to pursue your dreams. I did want to thank my amazing coworkers for inspiring me to keep pushing forward, as well as furthering their educations alongside of me, and to thank my director specifically, as she is such a great support in furthering all of our educations and pushing us to achieve even when we are doubting ourselves. Thank you and congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. This brings us to the close of the 2021 University of Alaska Southeast Sitka commencement. We want to thank all those that made this event possible. The administration that has provided leadership to the university, the members of the faculty that have guided you through your learning, and the staff that helped you every step of the way from your first contact with the university until this step of your journey. Thank you to all the family and friends that supported you while you were taking classes. It truly takes a community. Most of all, we want to acknowledge the hard work and dedication that each of you put into your education. You each made sacrifices on this journey. We trust that you will receive a payoff for these extra efforts, including the love of new learning, the ability to think critically, to solve problems that face you, and an increase in opportunities and choices to choose from that will lead to a better future for you and your family. So on behalf of the administration, the faculty, and the staff of the University of Alaska Southeast Campus, we say congratulations on your outstanding achievement. We wish you all the best for the future with all of its challenges and all of its opportunities.
Hey, 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 hey,